Alright guys, now we have to hook up the dashboard. So my wiring kit came pretty much really simple. All you have to do is clip everything into the proper place. But before I start doing that, let me go ahead and talk you guys through what everything is. This right here is nothing. If you want to add something else, then uh, you can right there. But we start right here. This is the gear indicator. So when you shift, you know what gear you're going to be in. It says like R for reverse, so on and so forth. This is the horn, honk honk. These are your turn signals. Whenever you click it to the right, you click it to the left. And if you, you have to like kind of feel to get it back in the middle. It's like a half click almost to get it back uh, without turning left or right. Right here is where our ignition is going to go. Put your key in there, turn it. These are of course your lights, fog lights and headlights. And this last button is your four ways or your, um, what do some people call them, the hazard lights. So now with that being said, right here it's basically a chunk of plastic. It does nothing right now. What we need to make it work is all of this wiring right here. So we're saying, okay, I know nothing about electronics. I am going to have no idea what's going on. Well, whenever you buy a wiring kit, what it's going to do is it's going to tell you which e each piece goes to already. So it's pretty much going to look like a bunch of wires, colored wires, and depending on the color of the wire, that's how you know where to plug it in. So let's go ahead and I guess we might as well work left to right. And we'll go ahead and start with the lights, which are white, yellow, and blue. So the white goes at the top. So plug this into your lights if I can. And hopefully you should hear it snap. If I can get my big old fingers in there. Okay, lights, come on. There we go. Alright, so now our lights are hooked up. Now what we got to do is, I mean, our fog lights, that's what these are. Now what I got to do is hook up the headlights. Now the top one goes yellow and candy cane colored. And I say candy cane because it's half red, half white. Reminds me of a candy cane. So plug that in there. I felt a little snap. Now the bottom one is candy cane and brown, which is this one right here. So plug this in, and now your headlights are ready to go. Now, the next one right here, this is where your ignition goes, where you turn in the key, but you put this in a little bit different than just the clip. The ignition, if you guys are like, okay, where do I bolt this thing on? Do I just stick it through? Nope, it's not thin. What you need to do is you actually need to unscrew the area around the tip of the ignition or keyhole now just go ahead and put it through and on the other side, I don't know if you guys can see yep you can go ahead and this is always a pain to do these threads see if I can get it come on baby alright there we go now I guess technically it doesn't need to be directly up and down but I'm kind of OCD about that. I like it to have it up and down. So now that it's tight, you can now stick the key in and turn it and it's going to kick off your starter. Now the only other things that we have to install are the horn, which goes right there, probably should hold it so you guys can see, and the turn signals. Now the horn is this red and purple wire, and where is it, red, well I guess it's a candy cane color, I called it red and purple, but candy cane and purple, and again, these aren't the industry standards for these wires. Whenever you get your wiring kit, look at the diagram to see what your colors are. And the last thing, which would be these turn signals right here. The turn signals are, I guess it's kind of a tan, blue, and gray. So go ahead and stick this in. And actually it needs to go this way. Got it the wrong way. And that's another thing. You see how these are three wires, gray, blue, and tan. How do you know to stick it with the gray on the left or the tan on the left? And the cool thing is about these clips that whenever you clip them in, they're only going to go a certain way. If you try to uh, clip it in in the opposite way, then it's not going to fit. So now the only other things that we have to do is put in our gear indicator and also our relays, but we'll get to that later. So go ahead and start with your gear indicator, and this is such a pain. Okay, because let me go ahead and show you guys. 
have no one else to complain to, so I might as well complain to you guys. See these little tiny screws? That's like less than seven millimeter. So those are always a pain to work with, but I'm going to go ahead and try to screw it in right now. Might as well use an eyeglass repair kit to turn these freaking screws. Okay, holy crap, finally. Now that we got all of the main electronics taken care of, the only other thing that we need to do is we need to install these relays. Now, without going into, you know, how electronics work, a relay is basically, oh cool, a relay is basically a little electronic that the most common use is whenever you have a circuit that doesn't use a lot of electricity and you want it to control a circuit that uses a lot of electricity. For example, sometimes people have electronic switches just so you can turn something on and off. Now, of course, the switch itself doesn't use a lot of electricity, hardly any at all. But if you wanted it to control something that did use a lot of electricity, like, for example, on this go-kart, the thing that uses the most electricity is probably whenever you're trying to start the engine and before it gets uh, kicked off and can run by fuel, it needs to start from the battery. The starter sucks a lot of electricity as soon as you're starting this baby up. So, like I said, that's what relays are for. Just go ahead and look on your electronic diagram to see when you need them. If you're not very familiar with electronics, basically a circuit that uses a little electricity to control one that uses a lot of electricity. Alright guys, so that's it. Your wiring of your dashboard is now complete. But before you can go ahead and pat yourself on the back and move on to the next step, what we need to do is actually mount this dashboard on the frame. So go ahead and remove all of the bolts to uh, mount it on. So there you have it, a perfectly wired dashboard. Now your go-kart has a shift indicator which tells you what gear you're in, a horn, turn signals, it has the uh, electronic starter which is always nice, lights, and your four ways or hazard lights, whatever you want to call them. So how awesome is that? In the next video what we're going to be doing is probably hooking up the rest of this wiring which consists of a little crappy brake little indicator right there. And uh, then, who knows, but I'm excited. I'm getting excited. I'm ready to drive this thing.